Today we are revising the present continuous. Many students find this difficult as it doesn't exist in many other languages. Um, Giovanni, what am I doing at the moment? You are speaking. Hmm. I'm speaking. Matthew, what am I doing at the moment? You are walking. I am walking. Good. Anything else? You are teaching. Good, so I am teaching. Very good. Um, what about you? What are you doing at the moment? I'm sitting. Mm-hmm. Anything else? I am listening. You're listening, so you're listening to me speak. Yes. Anything else? So I am teaching and you are? Learning. Learning. Very good. So. Okay. Now, we form the present continuous with the pronoun, the verb to be, and any verb plus ing. Okay? So I am teaching at the moment, and you are learning at the moment. Now usually, when we're speaking, we don't say I am teaching, or you are learning. We would say I'm teaching, I'm um, laughing you're learning. We would use the abbreviation. Okay? Giovanni, am I swimming at the moment? No, you're not. Mm -hmm. So, no, you're not. Can you say that in another way? No, you... No, you are swimming. Mm -hmm. Full sentence, very good. Um, Matthew, am I laughing at the moment? No. No, I'm not. Very good. So, Giovanni, what did I do to form a negative? What did you do in your sentence? You said no. I added not. Not. And where did you put not? After the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, you said no, you aren't. We have not here after the verb to be, very good, and then the verb plus ing, laughing and swimming, very good. So, let's go over that very quickly. We use the present continuous for actions happening now, And, so before we said, I am speaking, I am walking, so the action is always, so if I'm speaking and then I'm walking, it is always, mm -hmm. but it's also changing. So I can be speaking now, then I stop, and I start walking. So we call those temporary actions, actions which are always changing. So, the positive form of the present continuous is formed by using the pronouns I, you, he, she, it, we, you and they plus the verb to be, so obviously it depends on the pronoun and any other verb plus ing. So as you said before I am speaking, pronoun, verb to be, ing. When you have the negative, we have the pronouns again and the verb to be as it was before, but we put the word not after the verb to be. After not, we have the verb and ing. It's exactly the same, but with not between the verb to be and the main verb. Very good. Thank you.